Hello, Humble Hearts Academy. My name is Teacher Ariel, and today we're going to the California Science Center. We're going to the California Science Center to learn about weather. Today, we are going to be exploring weather and what it's like in different environments. An environment is a place where many plants, animals, and living things live. We will be exploring these environments and checking out their weather. Now, before we go, can you remember some of the different types of weather that we've learned about? Let's recap. This just in, I'm getting the weather forecast from Teacher Ariel out on the field. Let's check in on her so we can see what the different types of weather she's experiencing. Let's go. Thank you, Teacher Ariel. We're out here right now, and the weather is looking like it's sunny. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need my glasses for this. Yeah, much better. Whoa, whoa, what's the weather like today? Whoa, it's windy. Looks like there's a lot of wind blowing everywhere. Whoa. What's the weather like now? Snowy. Very good. I'm gonna go inside. Back to you, Teacher Ariel, in the studio. Thanks, Teacher Ariel. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, we learned about windy weather, sunny or hot weather, cold or snowy weather. Are there any other types of weather that you've experienced? Well, keep that in mind as we go to the California Science Center and explore the different environments and their weather. So let's get ready to go on our field trip. But first, we need to double check we have everything. Mask, check. Shoes, check. Let's go. Today we're at the California Science Center, but before we go in, I'm going to see if I'm strong enough to lift that car. Uh, I did it! Uh, let's head on in. Hmm, let's go to ecosystems. Follow me. Ecosystems are environments where all living things live. They adapt, evolve, and they're diverse. Ooh. Some are dry, rocky, wet. Where to first? Well, let's go to the desert zone. What's the weather like in the desert? Hot? Definitely. Let's come by the heatometer. Look at my head and my hands. They're red and yellow. That's where all the heat is in my body. The desert is dry, hot, and sunny. Oh yeah. Uh. Let's see what we can find here. I see cactus. And there's something in there. A it's a tortoise. It's, in it's inside. That's where they live. Their shelter. They have shelter. And what do we have over here? Let's take a look. It's a screen. Oh wow, that's a different animal. It's a lizard and it's on a rock. You can see that the rock around it is yellow and red, which means it's really hot. And somehow the lizard has kept itself cooler than the rock. That's because their scaly skin is airtight and watertight, allowing them to hold on to that precious moisture. Wow, they really adapt to their dry habitats. Wow, that desert was sure hot. <laughs> there are so many deserts around the world. We have the desert in Libya, the Sahara Desert, and the desert in Mongolia, the Gobi Desert. 
we even have a desert here in California. The Mojave National Preserve. Let's go somewhere that's a little bit cooler. Where to? Off we go. Come follow me. Hmm, could it be over there? Let's see. Oh, I see it. It's the poles. Here in the poles, it is very cold. You can see snow on mountains, the cool air, ice and snow on the ground as well. Oh, and look at that. Someone's riding a snowmobile. Hmm, who could that be? It's me. <laughs> Here is a window to Antarctica. What can you see here? I can see the penguins. And what kind of weather do you see all around? Well, I see snow and ice. Whoa, that's icy water. How do they do it? Oh, hello, penguin. <laughs> here we have lots of snow. The poles are filled with it. Very cool. Here is a block of ice. If I put my hands on it, it's freezing. But animals, when they put their paws on ice, they have special padding that helps them walk along. But humans, we don't. <laughs> so it gets really cold. Uh. But we can protect ourselves by warming ourselves with clothes like these jackets here. You see how thick they are? And they have fur on the sides of the hood. Wow. I think these will definitely keep me warm. <laughs> wow, so the weather in the poles is cold, icy, and snowy. So we need a couple of things to protect us from that type of weather. We need very, very, very warm clothes to protect us when we're outside. Also, really good snow boots, right? Animals have very special paws that help them walk through the ice and walk through the cold, and very special fur or skin that protects them from the cold, like the polar bear and the penguin. That's amazing. So we learned today about the desert and the poles. Both of them have two very different types of weather. One is hot, and the other one is cold. And both places have different animals and plants that survive in these types of conditions. Also, people need specific clothes to help us survive in the hot and cold weather. Next time it's a little warm or cold in Los Angeles, I definitely will not complain. Weather in Los Angeles changes from sunny to partly cloudy, which means you can see the sun and clouds. And sometimes when it's a little colder than usual, we see cloudy weather or even rainy weather but rarely do we see snowy weather. Most days in Los Angeles are sunny. So we can definitely go outside and enjoy the nice sunny day. Well, my friends, that is it for today. I had such an amazing time enjoying the California Science Center. But don't worry, we get to revisit the California Science Center and learn a lot more things. I'm so excited to show you our next field trip. Well, until then, parents and guardians, feel free to check out our page at Humble Hearts Academy, and we will see you next time. Goodbye.